How's it going guys? Dustin with Daily Grind Fantasy and in today's video I want to talk about placing MLB prize picks entries. We're going to be talking about the props they offer, the props you should be targeting, and why you should be targeting these props in order to help you become a profitable better when betting on MLB prize picks. All right so we have up the prize pick screen here and as you can see we have up the MLB board. Before we get into it though if you guys are new to prize picks and have never played before I want to quickly just go over how to play. You choose two or more players from any sport, choose the more or less on their projected stats. You might hear us say over and under. It's the same exact thing as more or less. You choose if you want it to be a flex play or a power play. Flex plays, as you can see, you still win if one pick misses. Power plays, higher payouts, but you must get all your picks right. So you can't miss one in order to be paid out for a power play. Let's go ahead and talk about payouts. It's important to note that you can't flex whenever you only have two plays. You must have more than two plays to be able to flex. So as we add on plays here, you can see the flex option becomes available up until four picks. So you can flex three and four picks and power play them as well, as well as power play a two pick play. However, once you get to five picks, you only are gonna be able to flex play. Same thing with six. So six flexes, 25X is your max payout. Five flex, your max payout is gonna be 10X. That's if you get all of them correct. However, with the flex play, like I mentioned, if you miss one, you can still win two extra money on both of those slip types. And, and in fact, if you miss or if you miss two and you get three correct, you win back some of your money. So that's the advantage of a flex play. But power plays, you're going to go ahead and win more money. For instance, on a four pick power play, you win 10X. If you get all of them right, remember you can't lose. On a flex play, uh, you get 4x if you get all of them right, but you can still miss one and still profit 1.5x. And without getting into too much math or detail here, I just wanted to quickly mention that three-man powers is the worst slip type that you can play on prize picks. You would need to be correct on your individual props at a 58.5% clip in order to be profitable when playing three-man powers when you should be playing five-man or six-man flexes all the time. You would only need to be right 54.13% and 54.34% on your individual legs in order to be profitable over the long term when playing five man or six man flexes. All right, so now that we've gone over the slip types and kind of the payouts, let's go ahead and talk about the props that are offered on prize picks when it comes to MLB. So we have this MLB tab that has literally all these different categories that you can think of uh, pitcher strikeouts, walks, total bases, hits allowed, earned runs hitter strikeouts, pitches thrown, pitching outs, a bunch of different options, which is amazing because we love we love to have more options when we're betting, right? Now, they also have MLB Live, where it's usually about the one first inning, uh, one through two, or one through three innings, where they have different props like hits allowed, runs allowed, pitches thrown, and everything like that. So there's another option in MLB betting on prize picks. Okay, and so with all these different options and props, wh what should you be targeting in order to become profitable when playing MLB prize picks, right? The answer is simple. You want to target whatever props are going to give you an edge against prize picks. For instance, let's say Garrett Cole is favored on the over at average odds across major sports books of minus 147. And so if you remove the juice from the sports books, they are still giving Garrett Cole a 55.66% chance to hit the over, which is about a 1.32% edge over prize picks when considering in five pick flexes you need a 54.34% win percentage on individual prop legs to be to be profitable. You get that 1.32% edge, and that over a long period of time and a large sample size will be the difference between you not being profitable and you being profitable. So in short, the props that you should be targeting on MLB prize picks are props that are given a favorable outcome by sportsbooks in Vegas a, basically a mathematical edge against prize picks. And the reason being because on prize picks, you can get it at a better number, minus 118, minus 119, compared to what you can get it at on the sports books. This strategy is technically called plus EV betting, and we have a tool that helps you out. At dgfantasy.com, you guys can see this tool and, and take advantage of it. The link will be in the description for it if you guys want to check it out. We have three-day free trials, or you can sign up for a membership if you'd like. But let me just quickly show you why it's such a great tool and helps you profit when betting on MLB and other sports. We have many different sports on the optimizers uh, and many different DFS apps that you can take advantage of as well. But real quick, Garrett Whitlock is here at the top. Uh, he's five at five strikeouts on prize picks, and he's technically set to five and a half on major sports books. As you can see here, we have all these lines for sports books to the right. And this seems to be like his near even line, which is set at five and a half. So we get a 0.5 discrepancy. We get the lower number of five over there on prize picks. 
This is giving implied odds of minus 144 when you get it at five on prize picks and giving us a 55.36% odds to hit. So in other words, if this prop was to play out over a, a long sample size, a huge sample size, right? Um, we should be hitting at 55.36%, which is well good enough to be in five pick and six pick insured slips on prize picks or flex slips on prize picks. But that is it. If you guys want to check that out, the links will be in the description. Hopefully you guys learned something in this video. If you guys did, drop a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and we'll see you in the next one. Let's cash. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we have other more in-depth plus EV betting videos if you guys want to check them out.